Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PC Joe. I'm Broken Bonds video. Today's a Broken Bonds video, guys. We're gonna be revisiting a Gardevoir Nine Tails deck, and we're gonna be slapping in a triple acceleration energy into the deck. And this card is going to make Gardevoir even better because with this card, you add an extra 90 damage to Gardevoir's infinite force attack, which is insane. Um, so that's pretty much the idea of the deck. It's the standard Nine Tails Swampert list with Gardevoir. And we just are going to be adding this card to the deck, and it's going to be very good. Um, so before we get into today's PCO video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. If you are ever looking for PDCGO codes, if you're still looking to get Unbroken Bonds codes, trying to get Unbroken Bonds packs on your account to get all the Unbroken Bonds card stuff, like Reshi's Zard and stuff, you can get them over at Card Cavern TCG. You can also get GX box codes there, like Marowak GX, Jolteon GX, Flareon GX. You can also get Trainer Kit codes. When you do buy something from Card Cavern TCG, guys, of course, Use code LDF and you get a 5% discount on your order. So shout out to Card Cavern TCG. Check them out, guys, down below in the description. And use code LDF for a 5% discount. And now let's look at the list. So the idea is, is you get Gardevoirs and Swampert's in play using Nine Tails Mysterious Guidance, allowing you to get two item cards, uh, get your Rare Candy Gardevoirs. You put your Gardevoir into play with the attack infinite force during 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. And... Um, with Secret Spring, you can put more Fairy Energies on Gardevoir. We have stuff like Super Boost Energy um, to help with the damage. We even have DC too, which can also help with the damage output. And of course, we have Triple Acceleration Energy, which again, just lets Gardevoir hit really good numbers. You slap it on and it's in, it's a free free um, 90 damage, and that's really good. And this can help us reach numbers against Tag Team Pokemon. Like Reshizard, most of the time we'll need 4 Energy on it, and uh, that's... 120 damage for Gardevoir. So Gardevoir's numbers just become insane with triple acceleration energy. Um, and we got Swampert in here for draw support. We can also use Hydro Pump with super boost energy and triple energy itself. Triple energy uh, Swampert could work too. Um, if we need to like take out a uh, fire type. And of course Nine Tails with Snowy Wind and Sublimation. Sublimation can be really good against uh, Buzzmosa and Bolcephalon to uh, get two easy prizes. Some other things in the deck. Uh, I updated a Mew in here just for the Picaron matchup and other matchups where they might hit your bench. So, Mew's really important. I got two Tapu Leles just because we have a lot of important supporters. And I have one Ditto, two Vulpixes. Pretty uh, standard stuff. Got one Curlia. Only three rolls. I don't play Rest Stretcher in the deck, as you can see. But in the video, I didn't really care for using Stretcher. We didn't need it. And we go into the items now. Four Rare Candies, of course. I do have one copy of Switch. Just having Switch is really good. Uh, I got two Timer Balls. I hate this card a lot, just like Order Pad. Uh, but when this card gets heads, it pays off in a big way. For Ultra Balls, of course. My Stadium of Choice is Brooklyn Hill, because it can get to us Mudkipper or uh, Vulpix. And I got a Wonders Labyrinth, which is a huge card, because with Wonders Lab, Garvor gets even stronger, because then they have to play an extra energy to attack. I got one Ace Rolla to heal, two Cynthias, one Erica, three Lilies, um, a couple Guzmas. Got some Elms in here, too, for the turn one Elm, which is really good to get Ralts and Vulpixes and Mudkips. Um, the only other card I regret not having in here is a couple of Max Potions. Just saying. I got two choice bands. One to boost energy. Great for the uh, Swampert and also for Gardevoir. Four triple energies, obviously. Two DCs and seven fairy energies. A lot of energy going around, but with all that energy, it's good to build up a fat Gardevoir. And yeah, this is my uh, Gardevoir Ninetales triple energy list. I think this deck is pretty good right now. Uh, triple energy makes Gardevoir hit hard numbers. So let's go get some matches with it on PC Joe and see it in action. All right, guys, let's go get into some matches now with some Gardevoir, a Ninetales, and Swampert. And let's see if uh, we can do some pretty big plays with Triple Energy Acceleration. All right, we're up against a Fighting Psychic deck. This might just be like a Landorus Machamp deck, so uh, that's not too bad, I guess. There's a Buzzwool deck. We have Sublimation on our side. Uh, we'll see what we're up against here. Uh, we do start with Vulpix and Lele and Lily. So, uh, pretty good opening hand. I can actually just go for and turn one Elm. Which I probably will do. He's playing Lycanroc. He might have Dangerous Rogue to counter Gardevoir, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it's just a Buzzwool deck. Might be Buzzguard, maybe? Uh, Buzzguard's actually a good matchup for us. Um, the re- well, maybe it's not because he's got Bill. No, maybe it is. Because Buzzguard, like, Gardevoir counters Gar- Garboder so easily because of, uh, oh. We'll see if he gets a Trubbish, because, uh, Twilight GX. No, okay, it is a fighting deck. Alright, so this might be tough. Might not be. Okay, got another Vulpix. We'll drop the Tapu Lele. 
and we can get ourselves a Elms Lecture. So we got all our Ralts, we got a Mudkip, Price Ditto, whatever. Uh, the offset Vulpix gets KO'd might not actually be very high, so Vulpix might live, which would be pretty good. Let's get Mudkip double Ralts. Seems pretty good to me. We have a pretty good hand. All that's missing is a Swampert top deck. Uh, we'll attach the Ralts. And uh, we'll beacon. Yeah, I guess we could just do this stuff. We can get Curlia and Swampert. So yeah, unless he judges or Marshadows me, we have a very, very, very good hand. Like this is an insane hand. This is an insanely good hand. And no, just a Sledgehammer. Won't knock me out. All right, well, rip my opponent. Uh, there's a DC top deck. Yeah, we... Um, I just go off. I think we will attack with nine tails here. No, no harm in doing that. I don't think. No harm in that. He might knock me out with swing around. I mean, we have 170 HP. Ah, whatever. We'll we'll risk it. If we get knocked out, we get knocked out. Wait, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We can actually just sublimation him. Do I want to do that or do I want to save Twilight? I think we just go with sublimation blade. I mean. This is a really good start, though. Good thing he didn't get a Marshadow. I don't know if the Psychic type in his deck is a Marshadow or not. See, so we get here. I don't even know if I want to do Power Draw. Honestly, there's nothing really to get. I think we just knock him out Sublimation. We'll save the Power Draw. There's, again, nothing I want to get rid of. I want to keep the Ace Rolla. Uh, now, the question is, is will my opponent knock me out with Revenge? He would need a Diancy, a Choice Band. He might just go Counter Gain he just counter gains me, we'll just ace roll it, bring in Gardevoir. Oh, he's gonna marsh out on me. Well, good thing we got the setup off. We got the mark, we got the Swampert in play. Good thing he didn't do that last turn. That would have been devastating. We got Lily, there's a triple. We didn't get Ace Rolla. I don't think I want to do Swampert here. Hope my opponent doesn't concede very early. Even though we have like an insane start for us, I really hope he doesn't scoop early. Um There's a Lily for four. He probably just doesn't think he's gonna hit what he's looking for here. We can actually goose my triple energy, knock out the Donatsy. So we can do 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. We can also knock out Buzzwool with Gardevoir. Which I think I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna knock out the Buzzwool here. And we'll power draw away the Lily. I'd rather keep Erica. Lily's kind of redundant, I think. We have a switch, which is good. Um, and infinite force, so just making sure. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Yeah, we're doing 150. So 150 damage, thanks to triple energy acceleration. Megan Gardevoir hit some pretty pretty high numbers. This, we would not have knocked out the Buzzle without the triple. So this is why uh, triple energy acceleration with Gardevoir is a pretty ridiculous combo. Alright, so he can still go for revenge. We don't have any max potions. We don't have any ace roll in our hand. So we might have to just switch Gardevoir and maybe go Snowy Wind. I gotta predict he's got a counter gain in the deck. Like, I gotta assume he's got a counter gain. Oh, he's got an ace roll up. So if, yeah, if we just hit him in the Machamp, we're just ace rolled. He won't be doing Sledgehammer this turn unless he switches and does multi switch or something. He's gonna get a tap for Lele. Yeah. Okay. I hope my opponent doesn't concede early on. That's what I'm kind of worried about here. My opponent will just be like, mm, I don't want to play this game. I'm just going to concede. Um, he might get a bill because I think he's going to be digging for counter gain. No, he's going to get a Cynthia. Machamp is pretty bulky. It's actually kind of hard for us to hit this thing and knock it out, especially when it doesn't need that much energy. Compared to a Reshizar with 200 HP, it's a bit easier. There's the concession. I mean, I can't really fault my opponent. We had a very good start. Uh, we had turn two nine tails, turn two Gardevoir. Yeah, it was a Machamp, Machamp Lando deck. Man, it could have been a 50-50 matchup. Does he have counter gain? He does. He had two of them. He had two counter gains. Pretty similar to the list I had, but uh, yeah. Gardevoir just does nasty things. As you can see, triple energy acceleration is really good. Uh, as you saw there, because of the triple energy, we were able to hit high enough numbers to knock out Machamp, or knock out the Buzzwool with Gardevoir. But Gardevoir is always strolled against dealing with baby Buzzwools, I found, because it's like one energy attack. Uh, but because of triple energy, that all went down the hill. 
Right, let's see what we have this pack here. Oh, I didn't mean to open up. Oh, I thought I had a locked and broken bonds pack. Oh, crap, whatever. Whatever, we'll open one up. I forgot. I, for some reason, I thought I had an unbroken bonds pack locked. Yeah, this works too. It's just one pack. We didn't even get any good pulls, though. Nice. Uh, bro, these chests are 50 50, I swear. A reverse holo Victini that is rotating, and I already have three of them. Whatever. I'll take it, I guess. Reverse holo Victini goes for something on pups. Alright, let's go do another game with the deck now. Right into a game here. Up against a water deck. It's probably going to be Blastoise, I'm guessing. With no Psychic or Colorless. Could be a Gyarados deck, too. I hope it's not. Gyarados is annoying. Ooh. Alright, not bad hand. Turn 1 Elm is always good. Got the turn 1 Elm. Got the full pick start. We'll see if he's playing Gyarados. I really hope he's not. Uh, Gyarados is not really an ideal matchup for us. Okay, good. It's not. Hey, look at that. Rare Candy top deck. Double, double here. So we're going to live the turn, obviously, unless somehow he knocks me out with Articuno, which I doubt will happen. So it's pretty safe to assume we're going to live the turn. It's actually pretty good to, to attach to Vulpix. Yeah, I'm going to build up for a little Nine Tails. Again, I doubt Vulpix will get knocked out here. So, yeah. Ooh, Brooklyn Hill. Free Vulpix. Nice. But yeah, if we get Nine Tails going, we can start getting some early damage on Blastoise. Um, or it looks like he's going to be playing a Water Box Blastoise deck instead. Tyrant Splash might be a problem if we can't get Mew down in time. If we have a couple Ralts or something on the bench, he could sweep them. Definitely not going to knock me out this turn. Ooh, Energy Recycle Discard. I would say it's a fine matchup. Blastoise GX might be kind of hard to put up with because it is kind of tanky and it won't have any energy on it. So our goal might just be to target his other things. He's going to bring in the Lapras, which is fine. And Tatch is going to do a Collect. Okay, well this definitely guarantees a turn to Blastoise, I think. That hand is huge. Uh, there's a new top deck I will do. Brooklet Hill. Do you have our stretcher, right? No, we don't. I don't think we need the other bull picks. Get down anyway. Whatever. We'll Ultra Ball away the Elm and the new. Get ourselves in a Lola Ninetales GX. Alright. Double item. We will just get a Timer Ball and a Choice Band, I think. Hopefully this timer ball gets heads. Maybe I should have grabbed both just in case. Okay, good. Whew. Heart attack. We actually did prize a Gardevoir too. That kind of sucks. Prize two Guardies. I don't think we're going to get knocked out though, so whatever. Uh, we'll do Secret Spring so I can maybe get a DC on Gardevoir. We'll choice ban the Gardevoir because again, we might need to put like 20 energy on this thing to get a Blastoise GX. Alright, there's Ace Roller for next turn. Super Boost Energy is pretty good too. And we'll snowy wind. I know I could have set up a two shot, but I have Ace Rolla, so I could just Ace Rolla and knock this thing out next turn. Lapras can't one shot Nine Tails either, because I don't think he's gonna be running Professor Kakui. So Nine Tails will probably survive here, and then we can just Ace Roll it. Yeah, there's Rare Candy Blastoise. That's fine. It's got 130 HP left, which is pretty good. Get another Squirtle down. We can Guzma next turn, knock out a Squirtle too. If we want. I don't think I'll do it though. I think I'll just keep the Nine Tails pressure up. I'll probably end a base rolling here. He's most likely gonna get a knockout. Or not knockout. He's gonna probably attack me. He might even go. He might even ice beam me, because he's probably gonna think that I don't have a switching card. I gotta goose my nice roll in my hand. But yeah, he might uh ice beam me here. Which is good because I don't have to worry about towering splash if he does play Waylord in his deck. Yeah, figured. Alrighty then, so we can knock him out here. Let me get another Mudkip. No, not on the deck. Well then. This is pretty dirty. I have a bad feeling my opponent won't be sticking around after this turn. Um, bring out the Gardevoir, slap the Vulpix back down. And let's get some more guys going, shall we? Yeah, we'll get Timer Ball. Get another rare candy. Just in case we can get another stage two. I'm probably gonna get a Swampert now. We kinda have to actually. 
Oh, wow, look at that. We just go, I guess we gotta go Swampert Curlia. Because we prize the other Gardevoirs. Hopefully we get off the prizes here. Hope he doesn't concede. That's what I'm a little worried about. My opponent's gonna be like, oh, this is a little overwhelming. So we need to do 130 damage, which we can do. I don't know what I'm really looking for because we prize those Gardevoirs, but we'll find something. Yeah, not really. All right, well, we'll uh, Secret Spring. We can put both energies on, right? 120 damage. 60, 90, 120. Wait, 30, 60, 90, 120. Oh, we're already knocking them out. We have the Choice Band on. All right, we don't need to overcommit the energy. We'll just knock them out. Hopefully get the other Gardevoir off the prizes. We do. Nice. We got both. Look at that. They were both beside each other. Nice. Now we got the Gardevoir party started. We also have the ability to super boost energy, knock out Blastoise too with Swampert. I'd rather save the boost though. We might need it for Gardevoir in case he gets a Blastoise GX in play. Maybe, I guess he's not playing it. I don't know. I'm not really worried about Blastoise. It can do a decent chunk of damage. I'm not too concerning though. It's gonna attach. Powerful Squall. So he can't take a prize this turn on my Gardevoir. He'd have to, like, Guzma up the Swampert. If he knocks up Swampert, that would kind of suck. Hopefully he doesn't. He's building up the other Blastoise. That's fine. I'm not too scared of Blastoise. We can one-shot it pretty easily. I can honestly just knock it out with Hydro Pump if I really wanted to. Like, 100, 120, 140, 160. Get himself a 30 ain't helping his case either. Just saying. Alright, there's a Cynthia. What other water type attackers does he have? I don't worry about Wailord Carp as much anymore because he's already used Jack Stack. He might still be playing one of them. Super Splash, you know, could be a problem, I guess. He could knock out Nine Tails with a Choice Band. Alright, just an attack for 150, oh, 180, pardon me, sorry. So we don't have a healing option. We've already played a race Rolla. I think we would have to switch. Get rid of Lily. So if he hits himself again, he'll have 70 HP left, which is perfect, because then I can knock him out with nine tails. Kind of like where this is going. I like where this is going. We'll get rid of Lily and Brooklet. Lily just ain't having it today. We just don't need it. Get ourselves a Ralts. We'll knock out Blastoise with Swampert. We'll Secret Spring to the Gardevoir. We'll bait him. What we're going to do next turn is we're going to uh, Snowy Wind him here. Swampert will survive. I don't know if I have my Switch in the deck, but what we'll do is we'll get Swampert out of the active spot and uh, we'll knock him out with Snowy Wind just so we kind of save our Gardevoirs for when potentially a Blastoise GX comes down. This works out fine. He's not going to knock me out unless he has a perfect QE. Highly unlikely, though. There's your cycle. He's got what? Five energy? No, just on the dot. All right, let's see what happens here. Just a powerful squall. All right. For nothing. Cool. Cool beans. Cynthia, does he find another rare candy Blastoise? He's played two of his rare candies so far. He just put some stuff back in the deck. Highly unlikely. Never mind. Alright, well, it's not a Blastoise GX, though, so we don't have to worry too much. Kind of surprising he was able to find his third candy off of that. Or whatever. Okay. We're looking to find a switch here. I might have to evolve. Living on the dot. I don't think he has any sniping water attacks anymore, so we're good. And we'll power draw away the elm. Now I'm looking for switch. We can get another nine tails down, which can get a switch. I guess I can just knock him off hydro pump and then lose my swamp root. I don't know if it matters too much. Still have one candy left. We can get another Swampert back now if we need to. 
I would still like to do Snowy Wind, though. Get 30 damage on this thing. It'll have 100 HP left. Okay, let's do this. Secret Spring. Slap a DC on. Uh, well, Cynthia, and maybe we can hit the uh, Ninetales. We do. We'll give up Lele and Swampert. Do we have Switch? Hey, we do. Nice. We still have a Wonders Labyrinth, too, which could be pretty important if he whiffs the energy with Powerful Squall. Get two cards. Switch. And I think Choice Band seems pretty good. Knock him out, Snowy Wind. Keep our uh, Swampert alive. But yeah, this is a uh, very insane board setup. We have four Stage 2s on the bench. Two of them are obviously very, very weak. Nonetheless, though, we're in a very dominant position. I don't think we could lose at this point. We we can't really lose. Unless, look, the only thing I'm worried about is Blastoise Jax, because it is pretty bulky, but it seems he just doesn't play it. So he would have had it in play by now. Seems he doesn't have that many attackers in general outside of just the Lapras and the Blastoise. So I haven't seen an Articuno. I haven't seen a Waylord Carp. He hasn't Brooklyn for one yet. Yeah, I guess it's just a quad Blastoise deck. He's got to have another water attacker. There's no way he's just going to take me down with a Blastoise. There's no way. He's got to have something else in the deck. I guess not. He can Pal Pad. He can get back Cynthia. He hasn't played a Guzma yet. So he still has the option to Guzma Gardevoir at some point. Assuming I don't win on this turn, which I'm probably going to. It doesn't look like he has anything. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Uh, we'll give him a well played. Give him a well played. And I could go all in and uh, put a bunch of energy on Gardevoir, but I'm not going to. All right, well, that'll wrap up the first part of the video. I'll see you guys in a minute with another game with the Gardevoir. We'll take the uh, metal or fighting damage. Let's just do another game then. And I'll see what we run into here. Ooh, looks like Malamar maybe. We'll see if it's going to be Malamar. Malamar is fine, I think. I don't know. We'll see, though. Uh, we do win the coin flip, though, which is good. See what we start with. Vulpix, Brooklyn, and Elm. Wow, this is actually a really nice hand. Uh, the only thing stopping it is just not having a supporter, but other than that, it's a really good hand. Um, see if he Marsh Shadows me. No, he's playing a Gengar Mimikyu deck. Okay. That's actually not a bad matchup either, I don't think. Well, it might be. We do play a lot of items, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see. For Elms, for Mudkip, Vulpix, Mudkip. I'm probably, no, we'll get Ditto. I, I, I want to avoid using Swampert because if I do Power Draw, I'm just going to draw into more trainers. In fact, I'm not even going to bother mentioning Mudkip, you know, it's just probably not worth it. We'll attach to Ralts and pass. Yeah, I'm not going to bother attaching to Mudkip. It's not worth it. If we attach to Mudkip, we uh, run the risk of um, just kind of power drawing. And uh, yeah, oh, he did not Horror House me. Very interesting. Right, we'll spread the energy out. We'll drop Tapu Lele. Good Lily here. Draw a couple cards of Lily. Sure. Nah, well, Cynthia, our hand's not great. I actually do want to get the Garvors in play before he gets on the star down. I want to try to get a position where I can just burn a bunch of items, too. Like that. Just like that. Alright, we got the Guardy down. We'll Choice Bandit, and uh, we'll Beacon for Gardevoir Nine Tails. Yeah, we're going to avoid putting Swampert in play. It's not worth it to uh, draw three cards, and then we just draw three trainers, and then he does 150 more damage. Because the deal with Gardevoir, he does have to do the 250 damage cap. A uh, little worried about Amistar, though. If he blocks my items, then uh, he can't work any Gardevoir. If I get at least two Gardevoirs in play, I'll feel safe. Ditto, we can evolve into Curlia, too. Gonna a horror house, maybe that is fine. Just do another beacon. That's not a trainer card. Good to know. 
Uh, we'll beacon. Uh, we'll get Lily, actually. Yeah, there we go. Boom. We have a lot of Pokemon in our hand, which means we might draw an item here. We do have a Wondrous Labyrinth at our disposal, though. Now, I do want to say that my opponent is most likely playing Power Plant or Lavender Town. So, if I can get value out of the Wondrous Lab, that'd be really good. Hope he doesn't Amistar me this turn. Ah, oh, he does. Rip. My opponent's just gonna laugh at this hand. It's not that many items. Okay, so we can't play Rare Candy anymore. Good thing we grabbed the Curlia. We can attack with Guardi. Please don't drop an item. It's an item. If I can Guzma here. He's only doing 150. I can slap this down. Now his damage output is even less. Or now he has to pay an extra energy to attack. This seems fine. Interesting that he played Fight Energy for the Amistar. Alright, so it's going to be a little hard to take this thing down. If we can find some triple energies, though, we can hit really high numbers on the Gengar Mimikyu. Oof, he's going to judge me. If he had a Choice Band on, we could get knocked out here, potentially. Okay, we only drew a couple items. This is actually a good hand, too. Especially because he needs to bump this. And nice, he did not get there. Right, this is pretty good. I'm not even going to bother playing the Lily. It's not worth it. And we're going to knock him out. Boom. Gardevoir just taking tag teams out for days. Ever going to get three items, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Um, This is not good. We have a lot of items in our hand. Hope If the Wonders Labyrinth can stick a little longer, though, we should be good. But if he finds a green... Well, I guess not, actually, because he has some stern play. Playing Hala? Okay, this is a really interesting list. Gonna peek. He ain't gonna give me a new hand. I can Cynthia, though, at the very least. There's a Hala. If we could play the Ultra Ball, I would probably dump half of these cards. I can Guzma the Gengar next turn, though. Like, if he doesn't find a Counter Stadium, he can deal with me either. We are gonna take out the Amistar, which is also pretty good. I'm just gonna Cynthia. I could have Guzma the Gengar tried to attack it, I don't know. Not worth it. Ah, uh, yikes. Not a good hand. I could Twilight, actually. No, that just puts more items back. Uh, we'll just knock him out. Hope he doesn't have a counter stadium. Either way, we can go Gardevoir next turn anyway. It's not the end of the world. Got rid of the Amistar, so he's not. we're not item locked anymore. It's a really weird matchup, but we'll see how we can do. If he doesn't knock me out here, I think we win. We can just triple energy acceleration Gardevoir. And just, boom, smack him. So I hope he doesn't have a counter stadium. That's going to get him a counter stadium. Whatever, Wonders Labyrinth did its job. It actually you know, gave, us a, gave us a turn where we got prizes. A little unfortunate, though. Yep, there it is. Power Plant 2. That's a big yikes. It's actually not knocking me out, though. I just realized. Oh, my gosh. I just realized he's only doing 200 damage. Oh my goodness. That's insane. I don't know if he has a peaking red card in his hand already. He might. He just played one, but we'll see. No, he doesn't. Okay. Only 200 damage. <sighs> Panicked. Can we draw an ace roller here? Brooklyn Hill will be good too. No. Well, the good news is... Yeah, he scoops. Alright, guys. Let's go do some more games with the deck. See what we can run into here. Alright, we're up against Psychic and Cuddleless. This is most likely going to just be some kind of Psychic deck. Malamar, maybe? I don't know. See what we do in the coin flip. We do win it. That's pretty lit. Alright, let's see here what we got. Mudkip, Ralts. Um, not the best start. I think we have to start with Ralts. Uh, we can Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele, which I'm probably going to do. Get a Lily. Elm wouldn't be bad either, I guess, but I think we just go for Lily. Turn to Rare Candy actually tells me we should just hold the hand. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the hand. We have turn two candy, and then we next turn we can Ultra Ball away some stuff. I'm gonna hold the hand, whatever. He's just playing a Bayonet Garboder deck. Garboder is not a threat because we can just get our items back with Twilight at any point we want. And then make him do zero damage. 
Bayonet, on the other hand, might be a little more annoying to deal with. Because it only needs one energy to attack. Alright. What are we looking at here with our top deck? A supporter would be great. And there we go. We got an Elm. We don't even have to play Ultra. We get double full picks and another Ralts. Rare Candy Guardy. Now we aren't confused anymore. I'll we'll slap Vulpix down. We'll slap the other Ralts down. I'm not going to slap the other Vulpix down. I'm actually just going to go for an infinite force for the knockout. And save the other Vulpix for Ultra Ball Bait. Definitely not trying to get rid of our Super Boost energy. We might need Super Boost energy for like Swampert maybe. To like do 160 plus a Choice Band knockout of Bayonet. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is my opponent just another Perplex and confuses me. It's like, come on, really? So I hope that doesn't happen. I don't want them to just confuse me and then I don't attack. We'll see if that happens, though. If not, we'll Ultra Ball next turn. For probably just Tapu Lele, get a Cynthia or something. Yeah, he's bringing in this. I hope he just attacks with Bayonet. Even though it might be hard to knock it out. I hope he attacks with Bayonet, though. I'd rather that. Okay, good. I don't want to get confused. Uh, he can't do much damage with Shadow Chain right off the gate. Apparently he's only doing, what, 60 damage? Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. If he gets rid of any more stadiums, that would be amazing. Um, oof. Now his damage output's even higher. Well, if he gets rid of any more stadiums, that'd be great. Energy Retrieval. Alright, maybe we might have to go for a triple stage 2 play so I can try and get access to the super boost energy so I can knock out Bayonet. How much is he doing? 80? Yeah, maybe he's not doing that much damage. Still, though, we might get knocked out next turn. Now right, we'll get rid of these two. We'll grab the Tapu Lele. I could go Rare Candy Swampert here, but I don't want to get rid of anything in my hand. I think I just go for the Lele. I could go Erica for four. Actually, yeah, let's go Erica. If we can, we can hit Rare Candy Swampert off of this. We can still find the Ninetales. <laughs> no, we did not. That did not end the way I wanted it to. Well, DC. Pretty terrible hand. Don't think I can KO him. We're doing 90, 120, 150. Alright, we'll just... It's gonna force him. You might just ace roll anyway, so we'll just hit him for 120. There's no point in going all in. We'll see if Gardevoir survives the turn. Uh, it might not survive the turn. Maybe I should have uh, Secret Spring my Tapu Lele. But if it gets knocked out, I'll just go for Beacon. There's his own Lele. He's probably gonna ace roll it here. Uh, but I guess he can't really do Trash Lanch because he's only gonna do 40. So. Probably not gonna go for Trash Lanch here. He probably does Ace Rolla though. He can move a damage counter off. <clears throat> Let's see if he does Ace Rolla. It's been a while since I've seen Bayonet, man. Bayonet is a card that I, I just forgot about. I forgot this card even existed. Alright, here. Let's see. I'm assuming this is gonna be an Ace Rolla. They could get a Professor Kikui too. If they play another one, they could try and reach a number to knock me out. No, they're going to do a Plumeria. Interesting. They can get rid of supporters with Plumeria. Um, they can get rid of an energy. I'm actually glad they're not Plumerian off a boost energy at any point. But they did have a Kikui. Okay, well. They're not going to knock me out here, I don't think. They need to do 140 damage. And Bayonet cannot get there right away. Yeah, it's not going to knock me out. If we could draw an Ace Roller here, that would be amazing. Okay. You can Ultra Ball Lele for Ace Rolla. I think I, uh... Okay, we do have a Knockout, though, which is good. Well, probably if I go Ace Rolla, we can't knock him out. Lele can't kill him. Okay, well then. Not to get nine tails. Get rare candy. Maybe switch. 
try and save my Garvor. If I can. Try and go into uh, Gar try and go into the Ninetales. Which we can. We might have to burn the boost energy to do this though. Yeah, we'll Goose <sighs> that's a tough discard, but we'll get rid of the Guzma. Okay, we're looking a little bit better now. Kinda wish I got rid of the fairy energy, but whatever. So we can knock him out with a Lola Ninetales here, which I think I do. Slap on the DC. Um, and we'll Snowy Wind. Hit the Garboder. We've played a few more items now. Garboder is doing a little bit more better damage. But we are taking two prizes for this. I do want to get Ace Roll up for Nine Tails though. We'll see. He might not get the Trash Lanch off. He needs an energy. Or she needs an energy. I don't know. We'll see if they find one. We need to get another Gardevoir. We need to heal this thing too. Kind of wish I played Max Potion in this deck. A lot of different options you can play. Uh, really, the only card I could think you could take up for Max Potion is Mew, maybe. But if you run a Picarom, you need the Mew. Maybe take out Erica or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this list though, so I don't really know what I would take out. But I think Max Potion would be a good card. Maybe a couple Max Potions actually would be pretty good. Okay, there's a Lily for four. Will that find them an energy to attack my Nine Tails? They are currently doing. They're gonna max potion. Okay, well it's only thirty damage. We could still probably knock out Grip Order. Need to find a triple here. We have boost energy in our hand. We can maybe attack with Swampert if we can find another rare candy Gardevoir. Oh, he didn't attack me. We're in the clear, and there's a Wondrous Labyrinth. We are gonna plop that down right now, and uh, we're gonna go Lily. Right, we'll power draw away Mudkip. Try and get a rare candy here for Gardevoir. Never mind. Okay, well, that's a lot of energy. How many items have we played? 60, 100. He's only doing 100. Well, we might as well just Snowy Wind. Set that shuffle up to be KO'd. Next turn, I... I could retreat and knock him out with a triple energy hydro pump if I want. I don't know if that's a good idea though. So there's a Cynthia. Alright, there's the body build. I was assuming he was going to be running a couple of those. And there it is. It's not on Bayonet though, which is good. Rather it on Garboder. Alright, no Guzma. Good, I was worried. There's an Ultra Ball. I will power draw away an energy, I guess. Can we find a rare candy Garbor? No, we don't. We have Lele Ace Rolla though. Well, the likelihood of him getting a Guzma here is actually pretty high. Yes, they, my opponents literally only played one Guzma. So I might save the bench spot. We could get Judge, so I might need to prepare for that. I don't know what to do though, like with my energy. There's no other guard for in play. I can Ultra Ball for a Curlia. I don't know what to get rid of though. I'm just gonna attack him. Whatever. I don't know what to get rid of there. Alright, do not Ace Rolla or Max Potion your Garb Odor, please and thank you. Played one Ace Rolla. There's a Choice Bane going on the Bayonet. Okay, well then, I just gave my opponent a massive hand. I did not realize they'd be playing copycat. That's amazing. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. You actually gotta be kidding me. Why are we playing copycat? <laughs> Supporter is so bad. Alright, ooh, they got rid of a Guzma though with their treasure. That's good. We'll see. Alright, so let's see what happens here. Okay, they're gonna pass again. We can kind of keep chipping away at Bayonet. There's a timer ball. We'll play that trying to get Curlia. Or not. Thank you. Screw it. We're gonna get rid of Ditto. It's the only card in this hand I don't want to lose. Did we finally get a rare candy? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Dude, where are the candies hiding? Do we have our other Guzma? We do. 
trying to get that glitch off the screen. So I can Guzma here, bring out the Bane, and I can knock him out. And we just got to take out one Garbodor to win. Let's go for it. It's not in the deck. I guess we'll Ace Roller. Do we have Arcane? We have one in the deck. Well, that's why. All right, well, I think I am going to Guzma here. I am going to knock out Bayonet. We attach a triple. So 30, 60, 90, 150. Alright, we're doing 150. I think we will Ultra Ball. Get Curlia. Probably should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't want to burn that many items because of Trash Lanch. Triple Energy Acceleration, boys. This is why I'm knocking out Bayonet. We'll take a two prizes. There's a Candy. There's another Ralts. Candy would have been good to get a little bit earlier, but whatever. And he's not bringing in the Dumbbells Garboder, which is good. Because it's not going to be as hard to knock him out. And a Plumeria. That's fine. We can still probably knock him out here. As long as they don't judge me, which can't happen. Or Marshadow me, I guess. We're good. They can knock me out. Trash Lanch is going to do how much damage? 160. Alright, they're not even knocking out Nine Tails. And this is game. The fact that he played the DC is very odd. I don't know why they did that. Because we actually can just... It's easier to knock him out now. Kind of questionable as to why they attached a DC. But we're just going to attach the Triple Energy Acceleration... Acceleration energy, and we're gonna knock out the Garboder here and wrap up today's PC Joe video here, guys, with this match. Um, but yeah, Gardevoir with triple energy acceleration, it's a good combo. Um, you can hit really high numbers, it's really good. Getting an extra, how much? What is that? 90 damage on Gardevoir for one energy attachment is huge. Um, and it might just be what Gardevoir needs to, in, to reach the numbers it needs to knock out big tag team pokemon like reshizard so i don't know man guard of our triple energy might be a busted combo um i do like this deck though i think it's good swampert we could have used we never ran into a reshizard so we could have used swampert against reshizard but we have answers to reshizard but yeah that's gonna wrap the speech video guys if you enjoyed drop a like on the video subscribe on the road to 5,000 subs, I'm on the road to 4,700 subs, stick on a PC Joe video, check out the sponsor card cavern tcg in the description below if you do buy anything from there use code ldf and i'll see you guys later bye bye